So this is a Victorinox climber, Swiss Army knife climber. This has been my everyday carry knife. Anytime I leave the house, this is most likely on me. I've had this thing about a year, maybe a year and a half, and it's been really good so far. And I think this could be in the running for best EDC knife for like the general population. If you don't have specific needs, this thing is really good. So just some context for what this thing is. If you've seen the Swiss Army Knife Spartan, which is like the generic Swiss Army Knife you see in most every store, it's the two layer, it has the, the can opener, bottle opener, and then this screwdriver pry tool, and then the main blades. Well, a climber is the same thing except it has a third layer. This third layer is for the scissors. I love these scissors, and this is the reason I carry a climber instead of a Spartan. Those scissors, to me, come in handy way more often than the knife itself. I don't know if I have a odd lifestyle, but it just seems like the scissors are more handy than the actual knife. So, especially on these larger knives where not a lot of them have scissors, this is a really good option for EDC. Now, another comparison, this is the, the big boy, the Swiss champ. So you can see how they stack up in terms of thickness. Of course, they're all the same length. And here's our standard size comparison device, not sponsored. Um, so now, just to talk a little bit more about this guy. Of course it does have the can opener slash bottle opener slash very odd kind of half Phillips head screwdriver. It has the bottle opener. Uh, I think this is a wire crimper somehow, like this. Um, flathead screwdriver and you can use it like a pry tool. I find this thing to be really useful as well. Then of course you have your scissors. I love these. They're, they're really strong. They're a lot stronger than the ones on the small Swiss Army knives. And uh, you can tell they're not going to wear out anytime soon. You have the main blade which is about three inches, I think. And of course, these are all made in Switzerland, this stainless steel. And as far as knives go, the Swiss Army knives are pretty soft steeled. So since this is a softer material, it's pretty flexible, and it's not, it's not as prone to breaking. It does mean that it will get dull if you do extreme things to it but it's also easier to sharpen the angle that these are sharpened at are fairly more on the blunt side they're not like sharpened like a razor so you know something to think about but the reason I really like this knife is it has this small blade some I think they're called a pin blade sometimes but I use this to open boxes and to do like rougher work because you know it's smaller and you can get more leverage this way but this means I can keep this blade fairly dull and there's a fly get away go I'm filming I can keep this dull and use it for rough things and then I can keep the bigger blade sharp and use this for stuff that needs the sharpness it needs a longer blade it needs like Mate, some people use these for food, so you could keep it clean for food. It's really, really useful to have two, pla two blades. And then on the back, you have your uh, cork. I have this screwdriver. I got this off my Swiss Champ. You can buy these separately. It doesn't come with most of them. But they just screw in there, 
and it's for eyeglasses and they're really handy for that and other things I also have a pin in here straight pin another little trick you can do with them it has the hook that used to be for carrying bags they don't really use those bags anymore I don't even know if they ever used them here it might have been a European thing but they it was like grocery bags I think or mail parcels but this is kinda cool you can hook something to it and give it a good tug and then you have this thing this all type thing or a ream I don't know this is somewhat sharp now the problem with this knife kind of goes along with one of the best features of it which is this second blade you'll notice that this thing doesn't have a file like a nail file or just any kind of general file I really don't like that I wish it had a file there's a sort of not as common Swiss Army knife called a compact and the compact also has one of these hooks but on the back of the hook etched into here is a little nail file so you can do this I don't know why this one doesn't have it I wish it did have it as, as far as I know the compact is the only one that has that so the compact doesn't have a second blade it has the scissors so you kinda have to make the decision do you want the scissors or the file or do you not care and you can get yourself a spartan which is thinner to me, the three layer Swiss Army knife is the perfect size to carry in a pocket. It doesn't obstruct anything, it's not too big. If it was any thicker than this, I think it would be too big. So, I really enjoy this. This seems to be the best compromise for me. Maybe it will be for you too. Be sure to check it out. I have Amazon links. They're usually about $32 to $35. I checked before I filmed this. It was $32. That's about what I paid for it. In the world of knives, pocket knives and stuff, that's not that bad. It's actually fairly cheap, especially for all the stuff you get. These are still built good quality. A lot of the stuff that's being built now, they've downgraded over the years. That doesn't seem to be the case for these. Oh, I almost forgot. These tweezers are great. I love these. I know some people don't care for them, but this is one of the reasons I carry a Swiss Army knife is because those tweezers are so useful. I don't care about the toothpick. I don't know. It seems a little bit uh, unsanitary, maybe? I don't know. I'm not going to use the toothpick but you can also get a small pin like a writing pin that you can stick in there and you can have you like a backup pin so that's something to keep in mind but yeah that's my review of the swiss army knife climber comes in a bunch of colors one of them glows in the dark maybe that's your thing i don't know but if you like the video subscribe check out the links because it helps out the channel it doesn't cost you anything and i'll see you in the next video